Hello, this is Steve Sanangelo once again from the SRS Rock Report. And in today's video, which I call the silver, the better investment due to massive bubbles everywhere. Now I'm recording this right at the beginning of Asian trading. Uh, gold is up uh, about seven, eight dollars. Silver is up 33 cents. So it looks like we may see a continued rally in the silver price in the Asian markets and, and tomorrow. And tomorrow is an important day for the silver price and I'll show you why. All right, let's get started. Now, I post, I continue to post this. This is a monthly chart of silver. And I said that uh, it was important. It's important that silver closes above this 2750 level. The silver price continued to trade as I expected during the last week of August. It consolidated, but it headed back toward the 2750 level towards the end of the week. The close on Monday, August 31st is very important. As we saw the price move up back in 2010, it's important that silver closes, I would say the 28 and a half level or higher would be ideal, which would make this candle go all the way up to here with a very small wick on the top. That may just, that may sound petty, but traders are looking at that. And we may see that uh, in Asian trading and in, in the uh, US markets tomorrow. So if we do see silver close on the last day of August at, at the 28 and a half or higher, that is very good for moving up to the $30 range in September. Now, a quick review of the COT report structure. Uh, this week, we had a bit of a, a net short increase. And that was mainly due, I'll show you in a minute, to uh, the commercials longs selling uh, about 7,000, 8,000 contracts. But in the COT report, we could see here that the silver price actually fell $1.80 when they, uh, the net short position uh, added 3,600 contracts. And again, the reason for that, if we look back here, this was the week before, there was 69,100 commercial longs. Now there's 61,000. So about 8,000, they liquidated 8,000 long contracts. And they also liquidated about 4,000 short. So that's why it increased about 3,600 net short positions, even on a $1.80 decrease. But this is the important trend, as I've been talking about. The silver price continues to consolidate higher and higher as the net short positions trend lower which is another good sign. Now I wanted to show you uh, why it's important uh, for in silver investors to understand there's two things happening in the market. There's the fundamentals and then there's the technicals. And the technicals show us where there's going to be a breakout. And as I mentioned, this was back in July, 2020, when silver finally broke above this 1975 level, it shot up very quickly to this 23 and a half level. And it did that due to this long-term resistance level of 1975. Now, if we look what happened after that, again, here is that 1975 level. And then when silver broke above it, and this is an ascending triangle formation, once it broke above it, it went to almost 25 very quickly. And then we could see it consolidated. And what happens is it's, it's, it's coiling in this ascending triangle, just like it did here, but it's doing it quicker in a more, it, only over a week period. And then once it broke above this level, which seemed to be resistance, we had another breakout all the way to $30. Once silver hit 30, we had the big correction. Now on a day, this is the daily candlesticks, we could see this upper trend line, silver did not close below it. And as it consolidated back higher, we have this symmetrical triangle uh, formation. And then silver again broke about ab above it. And now what I think we're at is this 28 level. This is another breakout potential level. If silver continues higher, which I think it will, it's once it gets above the 28, then I think we're gonna see a nice move higher to 30 very quickly. Now, before I get into some of the, the bubble uh, charts, I just wanna let you know at the srsrockreport.com website, we do have our silver and gold members. Uh, 
subscription service. And we had some, we put out some pretty interesting articles this week. Where will most of the future silver millionaires come from? And some of the research I did was pretty interesting. So uh, we are heading towards a massive transfer of wealth when investors move out of highly speculative financial bubbles and into real sound assets. However, the number of sound assets worth investing isn't many. With the precious metals being the highest quality sound assets in the market, many investors will choose, choose silver. If you want to check that out, go to the website and become a silver member. And I also did an article on something big took place in the gold market that hasn't happened before. You could check those out at the srsrockreport.com website. Now, I posted this article. I don't know if my uh, YouTube viewers saw this on the website, but... The, the debt is uh, propping up the big bond bubble. And what's interesting, uh, from October to July 2019, the debt on July 2019 was $22 trillion, the public debt. And at that point, in that 10-month uh, period, Uncle Sam paid $497 billion of interest payment on that $22 trillion. Now, since the global contagion, when they had to backstop the market, send out all the, uh, the, the $1,200 checks to everybody and, and prop up the stock market, the, the debt has increased $4.5 trillion. It's now $26.5 trillion. What's interesting, over the same period from October to July 2020, Uncle Sam only paid $436 billion. It's $61 billion less. So as I stated in my article, uh, Uncle Sam is cutting the interest payments it's paying to its bondholders. So why be in bonds? Now, the problem with the bond market, as I've been talking about, is due to the energy. If you don't understand energy, especially oil, you won't understand why, the, uh, why it's so important to be in the precious metals. Now, we know how much debt per person in the United States per American, but what's more important is the total U.S. debt all sectors per barrel of oil consumption. Back in uh, 1970, there was $246 of debt per barrel of oil consumed that year. And as each decade went by, we can see now in the first quarter of 2020, there's $10,348 of debt for every barrel of oil that we consume in the US. Why is that bad news? Because it's the oil that drives the market, the economy, without economic growth, you cannot pay back debt. So, and especially when oil production falls, then all this debt starts to, in, starts to implode. Now, another very interesting statistic, um, is the difference between the GLD ETF and the SLV ETF. While we don't know if all the metal is held in these inventories, as they say in the GLD or the SLV, that doesn't really matter to me. The difference is the GLD, the, um, the metal inventories are not yet at their highs back in 2012, almost. Look at the SLV. The SLV is 210 million above its high. So there's a lot more metal heading into the SLV and it's causing a kind of a tightness in the market as, as industrial manufacturers and companies need to get silver too. So this is a very interesting dynamic for the silver market. And lastly, it's important to understand a lot of times I'm going to talk about the energy cliff. It's not that oil production just falls overnight to zero. That's not what's going to happen. But the, the most important part of the energy coming from oil is the net energy that makes it to the economy. And right here, this is a, an understanding, a graph of the total production of oil. The problem is the net energy that makes it to the market is going to fall off a cliff. And that is due to the falling energy return on investment and also the thermodynamics of oil depletion. So this is the energy cliff. This is a big problem that most people don't understand. It's going to impact the U.S. and global economy, which is also a very important reason to be in precious metals, especially physical precious metals. So lastly, 
the breakouts that occurred in silver happened at certain important resistant levels. When silver broke out here, it consolidated, broke out again, consolidated in a much bigger pattern, and then it broke above this symmetrical triangle. Now, I believe we're going to see another movement higher, especially if it goes above 28. Once it gets above 28, it could move to 29 and 30 very quickly. Well, I wanted to thank you again for watching this newest update at the SRS Rock Report YouTube channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And also, we do put a lot, out a lot of good content at the srsrockreport.com. There's about two public articles a week. But if you'd like to check out the silver member and gold member articles, you can learn even more. Thank you very much.